What's up, everybody? Today we're back with another installment uh, about our Always Ready Kit. This is our emergency survival kit uh, that I like to carry with me when I go out on adventures in the backcountry. And I'm supposed to have everything I need to survive and uh, get back home, which hopefully is less than like 24 hours of search and rescue or whatever, but who knows. Um, so I've got a bunch of stuff in here and I've been testing it and refining it. And today we're gonna be talking about uh, emergency food. So let's dig in, I'll show you what I've got. So right now I'm gonna pull out what I've got in here, which is a first aid kit, which I'm gonna go through in a future uh, episode. Got a water filter, which I'm also examining. We had a commenter on one of the videos in the past. If you wanna go check it out, uh, recommend maybe swapping this out for some tablets. I've used tablets in the past, but um, I don't really like them for uh, the taste and they take a long time. So I've had the filter in, but um, considering the use of this emergency going ultra lightweight, tablets are lighter. So I'm gonna try those out. Got my emergency shelter. Um, and among a few other things in here, I've got some extra calories. That's what we're gonna be talking about today. Um, I also have, let's see, the straw for my filter, a knife, a lighter, and a light. Okay, so that's what's in my bag right now. Um, we'll go through all these in detail in separate videos, but today we're gonna be talking about our calories. So extra calories can be very important when you're out on the trail, especially in things like mountain biking, trail running, where you get way out BFE and then um, something goes wrong, right? Say we twist an ankle or the bike breaks, you've got 10, 15 miles to hoof it back and maybe you run out of light, you gotta hunker down for the night. With that sort of exercise, you've burned a ton of calories and uh, with calorie deficit, you can start to go mentally kind of losing it, you know, and make bad decisions, things like that. So that's what we don't want and we need some extra calories to boost that blood glucose so that we can make good decisions, function properly and get back home. Um, right now what I'm packing is just what I had on the shelf. Honestly, this is nothing special. Just grab this off the shelf. These are the Nature Valley Oats and Honey Bars um, that normally when you open these, they kind of explode, but this has been packed tight over several trips. This is basically just a bag of uh, granola at this point, right? I'm gonna have to drink this. Um, this is 190 calories for 42 grams. So I'm trying to compare against something like this. These are uh, energy chews. These are uh, cliff blocks, right? And this is 100 calories in this kit. This is, oh, sorry, this is 200 calories in this pack for 30 grams. So 200 calories, for 30 grams right here. Uh, oh, sorry, 60 grams. 200 calories and 60 grams had to double the serving size on here. Um, a lot of sugar right here, which can be great for fast uh, energy, but maybe not so great for long sustained energy. Some of the other options I have here are more granola bars. We've got a Nature Valley sweet and salty nut. I love these ones for regular day-to-day -day use. Um, these are 170 calories, 35 grams. We've got the Costco brand soft and chewy granola bar. My kids love these ones, probably more sugar. This is 100 calories, 24 grams. And then I've got a new one of these. You can hear it though, it's already oatmeal. And excitingly, I just picked up a new option. These are SOS emergency food rations. This is a freaking brick. So this comes with nine bars and each one of these bars is 84 grams, 410 calories. So a lot bigger than these options. Um, right now it's vacuum sealed, supposedly has a five year shelf life. Uh, just check the date on here though. Uh, these were manufactured about a year ago. So I'm down to four years left. These are sitting on the shelf already for a year. I haven't tasted one yet, but the reviews say they're, you know, they're 
what you'd expect. They're pretty good, a lot of sugar, sweet, uh, kind of just like a cookie. Um, good balance of nutrients. It's not just straight sugar. It's not. It's got a mix of fat and uh, protein in here as well. So not a ton of protein. It's not a protein bar, but uh, we're going to dig in and see what we think, if this is what we want to pack with us. So I'm going to break the vacuum seal. Unfortunately, they don't come individually wrapped. But uh, within here, they do have wrappers on them. They're just not vacuum sealed wrappers. So you can see they've got nine bars in there. Let's see what I can do to get these out without breaking everything. Need to do a little bit more surgery here. Okay. So here's what we've got. There's a bar. Nine of these guys. Um, each one is 410 calories. So that's that's a decent size uh, meal right there. Should we taste it? Let's see how well these are wrapped. It's not vacuum sealed, but it does look to be, you know, sealed up, heat sealed on the end. So it's uh, decently sealed. I'm, it doesn't need to be water tight because of course my bag is set up watertight so nothing should get in here that's uh, going to get it all wet but uh, I'd like a good seal just to preserve it. it looks like yeah it's a, it's a decent seal on here I can't oh there we go okay so it's sealed just the same as one of these other granola bars just a little uh, less uh, durable material. Okay, yeah, it's basically like a cookie. You can see shortbread cookie, ground up, kind of just oatmeal paste with sugar, it looks like. Uh, yeah, it's not great, but that's not what I'm looking for. If I were looking for a gourmet meal, I would pack my gourmet food meal with me. This is just designed to get me off the mountain. So totally good. Um, I'd eat that. Probably need a little bit of water with it. But if I eat it just one bite at a time, I could do without. Uh, that's basically just a big cookie. Maybe that's why it has so many calories in it. Um, all right, so it definitely weighs more than one of these guys. Let me compare it against this one. So this one is 35 grams. This one's 80 grams, so it's almost twice the weight. This one's sealed a little better. You can buy these individually. Oh, by the way, each one of these bars is about a dollar. You can get this kit, this bag for about nine bucks. So this is about a dollar. I have to go look these up to see how much they cost, but probably not a dollar, probably cheaper than that. Um, this is 400 calories and this is only 170. So I'd have to pack two plus of these to get the same calories as these. The question is how many calories do I need? How many calories do I want? Well, I don't know. That's a good question. If you have thoughts on that, let me know. But uh, my thoughts are, um, if I'm gonna be spending the night in the woods, it's cold, I just finished a big old run or bike or whatever it is, ski tour, um, I think I'm gonna opt for a few more calories. The size doesn't make a huge difference. <clears throat> and maybe I can, I can flex, you know, maybe some days when I'm going on a big one, I can take one of these and other days I can, throw in one of these guys, but um, I'm going to try one of these. Partly also, I want to see the durability. I know this is going to crack and break. Uh, I want to see if the packaging opens up, if I get crumbs everywhere. If that's going to happen, then this is 
uh, not a great option unless I stick it in a, maybe a Ziploc or something to seal it up. Um, but the taste is great. You know, these are, the, I would pack one of these on a backpacking trip or whatever. These are good, dense calories, which is what I'm looking for. So uh, SOS emergency food rations. We're gonna do a field test next time and see how they go. But for now, this is gonna go in my pack. See you next time.